Hello everyone, Bray Scooter here, and welcome to the beginning of a fantastic journey. I will be, today, going forward, I will be exploring that which is Secret of Mana, which is a lot of people's favorite RPG and favorite game. If it's not that, it's Chrono Trigger. Now, as the title suggests, I have never played this game. I will preface this, though, that I have seen one or two other people do Let's Plays of the game. So I have a vague idea of what I'm doing, but it has been several years since I have seen those videos, so I will still classify this as blind. Will my brain randomly kick over and say, oh, I remember! It might. But as of right now, I'm just going to give you that I'm playing this blind for the very first time, and I generally don't have a good idea of what's going on. What I do know of what to do, excuse me, what I do know of what's going to be going on and what's happening, I'll be upfront and blunt with you. So, that being said, um, I should say, I should say, for anybody curious, this is being played, this is being played on the Super Nintendo Mini. And I don't know what protagonist's name, default name is, so let's pick a random name. I don't know why, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick Lyle. Gotcha, it's faster just to hold button. There, we'll just do that. Using the power of mana, civilization had grown strong. In time, mana was used to create the ultimate weapon, the Mana Fortress. This angered the gods. They sent their beasts to destroy the fortress. A violent war rocked the world, and mana seemed to disappear. Before all was lost, a hero with the Mana Sword smashed the fortress. Though the civilization had been destroyed, the world was peaceful again. But time flows like a river, and history repeats. This game is oddly prophetic. Also, I maybe should have taken a moment before I started recording to like look at the manual so I could get basic idea of controls. Also, I won't read... I won't be reading, like, every bit of dialogue in the game, because I understand that not everybody enjoys that, and me, I might, I might read it, I might not, it kind of just depends upon how I feel at that moment in time, if I feel like reading the dialogue or not. How does that translate, by the way? We're not supposed to be here, there's a ghost. Unless the, it's the threat that there is a ghost and people, and people are... That's the threat, that's the uh, spook they used, metaphorically and act, and literally, to keep people away. Oh, a shiny. Oh boy, that's how my RPGs start. It's a shiny! Losing balance. Well, he's dead. So people might might be asking, you know, why did you pick this version of the game with the remake being available, the original being available? Oh, I can I I'm playing. Okay. Uh, with the original game being available uh, on on hard copy systems, emulation being available, obviously, and the remake be available across many platforms. Why did you choose this one? Uh, more or less ease of access. Okay. More or less, yeah, more or less ease of access to what I have available to me. Controls are a little weird to me. Oh, the control feels like slightly stiff. I'll probably get used to it as time goes along. But as of right now, just... I don't know, it feels a little stiff compared to some other games I've played. Oh, hey look, a shiny. I'm leaving. I can't leave. Can I? I actually cannot leave. I'm actually being funneled directly to objective. 
Ah, yes, I need a knife. A knife should be up this... Oh. Forgive me for being acting dumb about this, but I actually am trying to see if I can avoid plot points as much as possible. See if there's, like, something secret. Nope, looks like directly funneled to this. I don't wanna. Sword's scary. Uh... It is your destiny. You have manifested it. Hey look! The ghost! The sword can talk? Swords don't talk! Swords are not allowed to talk. As he proceeds to prepare a deadly strike. Oh. Well. So we have this, so. Okay, so B's attack. A is. A is a. Is that a dodge or a rush? Okay. Uh. Y is, me is, is a menu. Okay, Y is a menu, B is attack, A is a dodge. It's what I'm going to go with right now until something else tells me otherwise. Now, the things I do know about this game, and I'll say like bluntly for you guys, just so you, just so you know what I know. I already did. I'm cutting everything though. The few things I know about the game. A, let the action gauge fill in order to do your boast damage. B, as you, as you get weapons, because I know there are multiple weapons, as you get weapons, and I know you get multiple characters, as you get weapons and characters, let every character le get level up every weapon as far as they can. So that's what I know about the game, for, right, as of right now. Uh, it's doing us a fright. Oh, did I just do a follow-up attack? Huh, neat. Now, also, the other thing about this game is I'm going to be probably experiencing the music for the first time. Huh. That didn't hurt. Oh. Uh. Okay, I got candy, so... Okay, so up and down can change... Okay, so I'll hit Y, up and down to change things. So, and if I hit Y again, that does that. Okay. Simple enough. I follow, I understand. I understand menus. Looks like they kept the menuing really simple. Look, oh yeah, it looks like the menuing is really simple. Oh hey, can I have this? Rabbi, please. Hey, who said you could do that? I wonder, can I, okay. I know that, I also know that there's like some kind of charge feature in the game, but I have no idea, well, that's not the button. Huh. So I can... I can run kind of full bore if I do it right. Yeah, see, I didn't let the meter charge up all the way, so it only dealt two damage. So I can run if I hold A while it's full. Okay, I can run to the nearest wall. Interesting. Yeah, no much to... Sh like... Like, I don't know how... I, I don't know why. I, I don't know if it's just me that likes... Ow. Oh, I didn't get hurt. Um, I don't know if it is just me that li that likes that likes it like this, or if it or if I'm like a odd one out. But I feel like when somebody picks up a game that I love for the first time and tries it, I am much more and like they do say right off the bat, "Hey, this is my first time playing the game." I'm much more open to them learning a game. But I do know there are some people who are like, "Oh no, but this is not optimal. I want to make sure you have the best the best hope." Here's what I will tell you in this regard. For anybody wondering. I skilled up. Um, you can leave me com you can leave comments that offer suggestions on how to play and how to play better. And I won't know I won't know until like later points when it when that becomes an issue, but I would recommend also not spoiling story points mostly. Will I know? Will I know? I, double kill. 
Will I know of that while I'm playing through the game as I am right now? No, I will not know. Ob what, ouch. I will not know what is an obvious story point. I will not know what obvious story points are. Yeah. Focus, focus one down at a time. Oh, I got them both. Okay, they have 20 health then. At least that's what I'm ascertaining. That means I can just slap them right now and get rid of them. Hey. Where are you going? Thank you. Um, oh, they respawn. I'm saying, oh yeah. I won't be able to know exactly what a, uh, what is, what is a spoiler and what is not a spoiler until I get to that point. So, just for me, just for me and other people who might be playing along for their first time, to be nice and don't spoil things. Hi, hello. But I'm not, I'm not playing. Come here. Your cap is weird. Anyway, it's an RPG, so I am gonna like try and do a lot of like the typical RPG stuff where I just go up to random pots and constantly mash my, what I assume is my interact button with B. Uh, I don't have a lot of money, so I'm not gonna bother going there. Also, something I should figure out right now probably is, do I have a save command? Window edit, controller edit, uh, action grid, status. Um, oh, hey, it's that screen. Oh. Well, if I'm going to be... Because I know there are multiple characters. I'm going to want them to guard and favor attacking. Or no, I can't do both. So I'm going to want to... I want them to favor attacking, but try their best to keep away from damage. Alright. So I can... Oh, hey! So okay, I can't do it. I can't do that. I can't do that. I was like, wait, what can I do here? Okay, when? Oh no, I want to check the window. Oh, I can check. I can edit the background. Well, I I would like to just have the clear background if I may. Oh, no, I just want a clear background. That's fine. B button to set. All right. I don't have any armor. Targeting. Stana, okay. Well, I don't know how to save then. I guess maybe saving at ends is how you save? Let's check. Uh, yes. I will stay at the inn. I don't know how the game saves. You know, it really has dawned on me that I really don't know how the game saves. And I, my question has been answered, so I will save at this point. Yes, multiple save slots. That's exactly what I need to see. All right. So now that I've saved proper, kind of proper, I'm now going to go to shops. Um, and now that I know I have, I, I have a little more than, I have a little more money than I thought I did. So I've got 50 money to play around with. Uh, this. Uh, hello, man. Say, I'm a, I'm in the business of looking for, I'm in the business of looking for, you know, an armor shop, maybe? Eh, maybe I'll find it here. This is a good shop. Uh, buy. Do you happen to sell... I feel like I need to grind for the for the bandana. You know, I'll just buy another candy and call it good there. Okay, so the buttons are kind of rotated from what's normally used to. 
I'm, I'm talking super controller buttons. Like B is is for confirm, or and Y is to uh, to negate or go out of action. So I'm just gonna progress, progress forward for now. Yes, uh, I may have fallen. Look, I'm not a goner. I'm here, aren't I? Hey. What is it? Uh, look, I just... I found a... I, listen, I couldn't get through the grass. I, I couldn't walk through the grass. I had to cut it down. What? The mana sword. Uh... That couldn't have been it. I, I, wh hey! You know, I do have a sword. No, I'd be that guy. I, I'm sorry, I would be that guy. I would I would just pull up the sword and say, Hey, 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 you want to back up a couple steps? We're going to have a little bit of a problem here. Uh... Well, man has come out. Oh. So. Okay. Well, thank you for the preempt. Uh, I'm trying to get back up. Well, I good thing I bought an extra candy so I can do this. Okay, so I'm. I know this is a healing item. That was a lot of healing. Okay, I have a full heal. All right, do this. Dang it. How does that knock me unconscious? Do, can I, do I, am I allowed to get up? Or, or do I just have to take it? Okay. Just wait for... Je Magic? I don't know the good a good way to attack, a good por spot to attack this guy from. Hey! No fair, I don't have magic. I can't take another hit like that, hold on. Well, ow! I don't know. Where, oh gosh. Okay, this sucks. Is this a fight I'm supposed to lose or win? I don't know. I mean, I did heal up before this fight, so. Am I? I'm just gonna attack from the side and hope that works. Oh, good. Well, timer's now low, and I. Okay, I that didn't work. Oh, get away from... Never mind, I'm dead. Uh... Okay. Well, I would love to do that thing, but see, here's the problem. I'm a... Kind of... A woefully... Imper from what?! Damage from what? That's my question. Oh, it's ge it's doing the gem missile. Move away. Smack it. Well, I'm down again. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Again, by what? What did I actually get hit by? Oh boy. I'm going to be salty this whole time. I'm going to be salty throughout this, aren't I? I don't like being salty for a project. Well, I only died three times, but I defeated a boss. I probably should check the stat screen to see if I, see if I, see if I had any mana. Thank you, man. Thank you, man, man, for saving the day. Coward. It.
Uh, re energized by what? Sage Luca and Water Palace. Okay. Am I going or am I being approached and being told I'm a jerk again? Okay, Gemma. So, south is the way to the Water Palace. Hold on, I gotta see stuff. Okay, so I have no items. Oh, wait. I wanted to actually see that. Okay, so I don't know what that's going to do. I guess it says I have the I have the sword. I guess I can level... That means my sword can be level 2 now? Let, let's look at this. So, how do I see what I have equipped... Well, I'm going to do something that I probably should have done before I went into that fight and actually buy some, uh... Can I buy... I can't buy anything. I was going to say buy some equipment, but I cannot. Hey, the music has a reset. Well, I think at this point, I'm going to end things off here uh, before I go in the house and see uh, what, what I have done wrong. But, everyone, thank you all so much for watching this first episode of Secret of Mana Blind. Again, help. be careful with what help you give. Try not to spoil the plot, but I appreciate any help you're willing to give me. Thank you all so much for watching, and you have a great rest of your day. Take care.